welcome to another episode in my series of painting and traveling to all 50 states. It's a bit windy here. I am in Arizona amongst the saguaro and the beautiful jagged mountains and big sky here. And I'm going to focus on teaching you guys how to paint this sky and the steps that I'm going to take in this painting. And so we should probably get started. I'm Ashley Krieger. I sold my earthly possessions, packed up my family, and left on an incredible journey to see all 50 states. Our goal is to experience the incredible world we live in. The artsy side of me thought this was a great opportunity to paint what inspires me in each state and teach you how to paint it. I would love if you came on this journey with me. Click on that subscribe button and the bell next to it and let's get to it. We're going to start this outside, but if it gets too windy, I'm going to take it inside my RV and we'll finish it up in there. So first things first, I started with my palette. If you haven't seen this palette um, before, there's a link in the description. I love it. It keeps my paints all nice and wet. I will give you all of these colors that I'm using in the description below. So last night there was an incredible sunset here. We had just gotten done traveling and it was a bit cold. So we decided that we were going to try to paint it again tonight. The sky looks about the same setting as last night. Um, but if we can make it to the sunset, great. Otherwise, I'm just going to use what I remember and a, a photo reference. So the first step is starting with the sky. And there's a couple of videos that I'll link in the description. One is how to paint sunsets. I also have a cloud video and the blending video. And we're going to be using the blending techniques that I gave you in that video. So I'm starting with my bright color, my yellow. And I'm going to apply it pretty thick, so I'm not even going to use water for this. I just want a lot of paint on my canvas. So now what I'm going to work on is the transition zone. So I added a little bit of water to my brush in white. And I'm going to blend this from side to side, like is in that other blending video. Okay. And I'm going to do what's the transition zone here. So it's going to transition into the next color, which was a gray. So I'm just going to add a little bit of black to my white and start up above the transition. See a little bit of yellow in the gray, which is good. I just move side to side until it's well blended. Now I take off the yellow from my brush as much as I can. And then I grab that gray color and I'm going to go side to side again, just with a little water on my brush mostly white okay and if you see that it's too dark like it is right now you just grab all white <laughs> go over it until it's to the value that you want okay and this is the blending zone right through here okay and when it's big canvases like this this is what I like to do as my step my brilliant blue to my white and I'm getting a light blue and I'm going to blend it in with that gray okay and it, again if you find that it's too dark of a blue you just add white to your canvas and then mellow the blue down that also helps you with the blending so now what I'm doing is I'm trying to match the color that I see in my reference photo and I know that it's going to be a little bit different than what's out there so I'm just going to kind of choose a color that's in between it and I'm using my ultramarine blue, some black and white and I'm going to have a dark color and I'm going to add the dark color up here and see how it looks on the canvas, see if it's what I want because it'll appear a little bit different on there. So I added a little bit more of a sky or sky blue and I'm going to blend it right into this color. How I'm going to do that is I'm just going to add white to my brush and you'll see how I blend this part. It's getting windy again, sorry. I might have to take it inside and then I blend it up to that color. So I'm going to go all the way across though. Sometimes I kind of have to, to get into the grooves of the canvas. I have to do a little bit of scrubbing just to get it in there. Especially if you um, 
find that your color isn't reaching as far as you want and you're almost done with that part of the sky, you just didn't want to make more color, you can do that. So I'm moving down to my filbert brush and if you've never seen a filbert brush before, let's see if you can focus on this. Okay, it's not flat on the top, it's rounded on the top. The reason why I'm using this is I'm going to be putting in some little tiny fluffy clouds. I am starting with my plain white on my brush. I'm not going to add any colors to it because I want the clouds to be bright and it's going to make it the most bright. I'll add more layers on top as I go. Okay, first of all, I'm just looking out there and picking out the shapes. Okay, a couple things about these clouds is that I'm focusing some of the area and making it more white and then letting it be more translucent in some of the area. Now, I'm not adding any water on my brush. What I'm doing is I'm just kind of like skimming over it. So, for example, like right here, I can just lessen what I have on my brush, shows the blue underneath, and it looks just like what it does out there. It's, there's sky behind the cloud. So that's how that works. Anytime you want to come in here and you want to do like a make it softer looking, I just dampen up my finger and come in here and soften those edges with my finger. So the trick is you have to do this when it's wet. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of gray with my white and I'm going to add some dimension to those clouds. I'm going to start over here where the gray is and that I see it and I'm just adding it on the top. Now, not just gray, I will be using some purple too as well or some blues. And I'm just going through here and figuring out what colors are on top. So, you know, if it's a little more blue, then I grab some more of the blue. And I'm going from cloud to cloud. So now what I'm doing is I'm just taking my larger brush, coming in here and adding some purple clouds. But if you notice, like I'll add a color on one side of my brush and another color on the other, just to uh, make kind of a blending technique happen without a whole lot of effort. And I'm going from this color down to like a gold. So I'll just keep kind of going toward my gold color. Adding in my metallic gold as well, because that's what I want this to do right here. It's really shiny. For this part, I'm just slightly going over my canvas, letting a lot of the yellow shine through. And I have purple on my brush, and I'm just going to go over some of these parts right here, and I'm just being very, very loose with it. Okay. As you can see, it just looks like clouds that are wisping off into the distance. Okay, and as long as you have it kind of like straight on the bottom, it makes sense to have those wispies. I also add blue to it as I go up or further away from the sunset. So I'll add in clouds in here that are a little more blue, just to give it some variety. And then I just take my metallic paint and I go on the very tops of it, those clouds, just kind of brush it down a little bit into the cloud. And I go on the very top because the metallic paint has to be on the very top to have that bright metallic finish. So a couple things that I really liked about this um, sunset was that there was some light shining through the clouds, some like rays or whatever. And I'm just going to give a subtle, subtle, subtle look of that and they kind of just kind of stemmed out like this, okay? And I'm doing it with gray. So it's gonna have a little bit of contrast with the yellow. It's a very, very light gray. So now I'm gonna come in, now that I kind of have an idea of where I want those sun rays, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna whiten up where my sun's gonna be. 
take that really dark purple color and then I go over it. Now the sky, you should try to be creative, make it however you want. If there's anything that you'd like to add, add to it. Just play around and have fun with it and then we can go on to the next step. So for these next steps, I'm just gonna be telling you the basic step of what they are because we were gonna focus on the sky for this. And so I'm just gonna add in the mountains and the ridges and I'm gonna layer them. So I'm gonna start with the lightest mountain and then I'm gonna get darker as I come forward. Okay, so now I'm gonna focus on the foreground and finish up the painting. So I'm gonna put in my cactus right here and I'm going to worry about it being in the focal point like right around here. So I'm just gonna paint some bushes and some things in the background and foreground here, just add things based on what I prefer. And that's what I want you guys to do is just to be creative and make this painting your own painting. Just take the tips that I give you and have fun with them. See that beautiful sunset? I wish it wasn't so windy out here. <laughs> That's just how it was. Thank you so much for creating with me. I just wanna give a special thank you to my Full Art members who are listed here for helping to make this video possible. I just added some more perks to my membership. Go ahead and check them out. There's a link in the description and I put a link that is like right over here or something. <laughs> Go over to my shop and you will see lots of prints of these beautiful paintings. Check out all the rest of my videos that I have done so far for all 50 states. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!